pequeños panzeninjas, bienvenidos al canal de Barbilla y bienvenidos al Assassin's Creed Celebration Livestream en este E3 que no es E3. No sé cuánto duraba este, pero o si sea, aún estará in progress porque vamos como un poco tarde. Hemos estado viendo el de Capcom y vamos como media hora tarde a este. Pero no pasa nada, no pasa nada, es la magia de la edición de los vídeos. ¿A quién le gusta la saga de Assassin's Creed? A mí al principio me parecía muy bien y luego creo que ha degenerado mucho. Creo que se les fue un poco la pinza. Pero el 1 y el 2 me gustaron mucho. Yo nunca los he jugado, pero he visto jugar a Edu. Porque hay juegos que a mí no me gusta jugar, pero me gusta ver. Ha cambiado mucho de rumbo, ¿verdad? Ya no es lo que era. Vale Venga, que empieza Aquí voy a bajar un poquito el sonidito Por si acaso, decirme qué tal Ahí los 24.837 Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed is all about giving players the thrill Assassin's. of leaping into history and reliving pivotal moments of our past. It has already been 15 years since Altair and the first Assassin's Creed due to the Brotherhood in 2007. Desde el primero. ¿Cómo pasa el Today tiempo? marks the beginning of our celebrations. For the months to come, we prepared surprises, unexpected collaborations, rewards, community activities, and more. Este, este ya con, con el norteño este ya se le fue mucho la bola. Whether you want to relive your first Assassin's Creed memories, get involved in the celebrations, or learn more about the future of the brand, we'll get you covered in the months to come. Exciting news about Assassin's Creed starts now with an update on what's to come in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Mira, otro que se parece al hoy. Expanding upon its story and gameplay throughout the first year has been an incredible adventure. After two story expansions that saw Ivor battle against a druidic cult in Ireland, and then throw the sword into the sea, and then throw the sword into the sea, we dove into Norse mythology with our ambitious third expansion. Sí, sí, versos se ven increíbles. With Assassin's Creed crossover stories, we even brought back a surprise visitor from the past who joined up with Ivor to fight a mysterious curse in the Isle of Skye. I'm glad you invited me here tonight. On top of this narrative content, since launch, we've added several free game modes and activities to the world of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, for the first time in the franchise, we're offering a second vale. year free post-launch content. Cositas gratis. Mastery Challenge Pack 2, an armory update, and new tombs to explore this fall to close the mystery behind tombs of the fall. Armaduras, nuevas tumbas, nuevas tumbas para explorar. This summer, we're offering a unique take on Assassin's Creed gameplay. It is my pleasure to present the first look at our latest and most ambitious game mode, The Forgotten Saga, which will be free to all Assassin's Creed players. Vale, un nuevo modo que se llama Forgotten Saga y que este verano van a hacer un gameplay gratis o algo así. You do well to hide behind your monsters, daughter of Loki. Hija de Loki. So, you're going back to Niflheim? As many times as it takes. It is time to go to hell. A mí con este, vale, con el Assassin's Creed Valhalla, me da la impresión de que es más God of War, pero con dioses vikingos, que no Assassin's Creed. Es la impresión que me da a mí. ¿Por qué te ensaga un juego de un modo de juego gratuito? A new roguelite-inspired journey into Niflheim, the spectacular realm of the dead. And stay tuned until the end of the year for one last surprise. Los anteriores Assassins eran más en un momento de la historia que intentaban, sabes, tomar, modificar una rama de la historia o retomar la rama de una historia. 
Y esto ya, si metes dioses por aquí que aparecen, es que me recuerda mucho más a un, se parece más a un God of War, pero vikingo, que, que no un Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. Encouraged by feedback from teachers and students, we are proud to take a new step in facilitating access to learning by releasing today a standalone version of Discovery Tour Viking Age for Xbox and PlayStation consoles as well as the new Viking to be partnering with McGill University in Canada to develop curriculum guides for teachers and students available online for free. Claro, es que es eso. El, el, una de las características del, del Assassin's Creed es que es el, el sigilo, el parkour por los tejados, el lanzarte desde una atalaya a un carro de, lleno de paja. Hostia, un egipcio. Experience ancient Egypt under the reign of Cleopatra. Now in 60 FPS on Xbox and PlayStation next gen. Holy. To celebrate with all of our players, we will be hosting a free weekend for Assassin's Creed Origins from June 16th to June 20th. Vale, del 16 al 20 de junio, una semana gratis para no sé qué. Es que va muy rápido. And celebrating past Assassin's Creed games. Our 15th anniversary is about rewarding you for your incredible support. To get started, several sets of Assassin's Creed Origins tattoos, along with the naval pack, bueno, will be available this week in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Vale, ¿y qué va a llegar a continuación? Right now, head to our anniversary website and learn more on how to get involved with the celebrations. Take part in our weekly challenges for a chance to earn prizes and share your favorite Assassin's Creed memories by using hashtag AC15 as we leap into history. Join us this September vale. as we unveil the Algo de hacer un comentario en Twitter sobre tu Assassin's Creed favorito. What's in store. Y esto no sé qué de la tienda, no me ha dado tiempo a leerlo. Hombre, tatus nórdicos, ahí un ankh egipcio muy nórdico, nórdico, no, no era. Vale, Assassin's Creed Origin, eh, la semana gratis esta del... ¿Qué? ¿Del 16 al 20? ¿Del 15? No me acuerdo cuál ha dicho. ¿Y ya está? Hello, del 16 al 20. Welcome to the Assassin's Creed 15th Anniversary Celebration Event. My name is Yusuf, I'll be one of your hosts today. I'm joined by my co-host Chassie Vicencio. Chassie, how are you today? O sea que vamos a... Hey, lo que I'm vamos excited. a poder hace, hacer esta semana stuff, es so ver a estos... A estas oh, yes, tres personitas. Uh, we by, uh, Assassin's Creed producer jugar Jose, Arisa, Jose, so al juego. Oh, is, uh, exciting and thrilling all at once. <laughs> Uh, yes. Que lo suyo sería que del 16 al 20 pusieran en esta parte del juego gratis para todo el mundo. ¿Qué calificación de edad tiene el juego? 16 mínimo. Camello dromedario, porque no le veo bien cuántas jorobas tiene. 60 frames per second boost just makes it doubly more so. It feels so good to play. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, uh, it's interesting. I just, uh, you know, reloaded it into my console. I started playing it again, and it's, it's amazing uh, just seeing it sort of uh, refreshed. And, and I don't know. There's a certain elegance to it. The desert, the grandiosity of it. It's pretty awesome to see it at 60. Y qué vamos a ver? 20 minutos de ver trotar a un tío en dromedario. I haven't been back to Egypt yet. Una joroba, in quite some pues, dromedario. Uh, I think it's been about like two years since I, I've, I've played Origins, and it just it just feels so good to be back. Um, I'm, I'm just, I started a new game plus here. You can see I'm already level 55. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, You've already awesome. played plenty of this game, so now you're jumping back. Pero es un dromedario de guerra, eh. Cuidadito, que va va ahí con toda la armadura. Okay, so let's celebrate this game. Celebrate Assassin's Creed. Um, so yeah, Origins, tell us about your role on this game, you were a producer. A ver, porque es lo único que te pueden enseñar, o sea, están todo el rato pateando por el desierto, porque es lo único que nos pueden enseñar. Ahora, ahora, 
Como hemos llegado tarde al evento, podemos hacer esto. Y pumba, nos saltamos el pateo por el desierto. El salto del águila. Ajaja, visto que este truco no, no lo sabíais. Porque no voy a estar dos horas viendo a estas tres personitas jugando a, a, a pasear por el campo porque no van a hacer nada. ¿Veis? Ya, ya llevan, llevan un minuto aquí encima enseñándote cómo está ahí encima. Mira, aquí caes en un montón de hojas de palmera estratégicamente colocadas. Venga, se va otra vez al dromedario y ahora vamos a pasear por una ciudad. But yeah, we are live, so if you have, have questions, please let us know in the chat. But Jose, I'll start with a question for you. Um, so I saw an interview. Mira, aquí tienen una misión de conoce a bueno, cuéntate con ella en la en la biblioteca. Working was E3 2017, and you said uh, getting AC Origins into people's hands for the first time. So can you tell me more about that and what that moment was like? Yeah. Oof. Uh, let me see if I can. Oh, mira, controlas el arconcito. <laughs> Esta es la ciudad de Alejandría. ¿Y dónde está el faro? A ver, buena pinta tiene. O sea, se ve todo muy bonito. Aunque no es por nada, pero la pinta que tiene nuestro prota ahí con todo el faldón manchado de sangre es un poco sospechosa, ¿no? Yo no le dejaría entrar en la biblioteca. Hola, hola, Takucita. Bueno, biblioteca, biblioteca, jardines. Vamos allá. Uh, you know, the wildlife. Uh, at some point I saw, I think it was a, an alligator and a hippo get into a fight, and the guy's like, oh, was that supposed to happen? Okay. And I said, no, honestly, I've never seen that. I don't know what, you know, what events happened for those two animals to be in that location. Vale, parkour. But it was super. It was nerve-breaking. Ha hecho casi un post me tiro, eh. Además, no, el, el juego no tiene nada de sonido, o sea, se le han quitado todos los sonidos. Venga, suéltate, 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 a ver qué hay abajo. Has tenido suerte de que hubiera agua, si no, te partía la grima. Fue un momento muy catártico para mí, ¿sabes? Y, ¿sabes? Fue también mi primera producción de Assassin's Creed, ¿sabes? Así que, para mí, también había ese elemento de que estoy uniendo... Para que las escuchemos bien. ...a este tiempo de cambio, a este nexo de cambio. Una misteriosa cueva. God, please, I hope, I hope it goes well. Pero súper bien iluminada. That's an exciting time to join, though. Yeah, that that sounds like an ideal time. Exciting and also, yeah, and also terrifying, right? You know, we always do our best work, hoping that everybody will love it, hoping that everybody will be entertained. You know, it's sort of a that 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 saying that nobody has an ugly baby, right? So it's that moment where where you show people the baby and you're like. Bueno, ya sabemos por qué está bien iluminada. Porque hay alguien que vive ahí. Ay, es great. And like, like I think to me, like it was just so cool seeing a husband and wife that were like in love and had, you know, like obviously, you know, they are on a quest to avenge the death of their, you know, son. But it was like it was a healthy relationship, and I feel like that's something that's so rare to see in games. Mira, una bola de Quidditch, una snitch dorada pero gigante. Bueno, 
where we're sort of uh, them saying, you know what, it's okay, we did well. Yeah. Uh, but seeing that trajectory, and it's funny because it wasn't a big uh, speech, it wasn't melodramatic. It was just a moment where you, I feel, and I hope that we capture the, the journey as a couple, as people, as <laughs> and they had, and in the end, just saying, you know what, we don't need to give a big speech. We, we're okay. We're cool. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's actually, it's, it's, I'm so happy you bring that up. That is one of my Espérate. favorite moments. Se in, está in it's just after. Pike and I have been con el que el hack de flechas a la espalda. Of, uh, you know the the game and um, them coming back together and and reuniting there for that moment. And they, there's, there's a, there's a shot where they you know they their foreheads touch and like they they embrace and like it just it it fills my heart every time. It's super sí, nice se está bañando uh, con el carcaj you know, de flechas uh, a la espalda. I know the Neverity team worked really hard to give value to that moment without being a uh, giving over exposition of what Look the player it. should or should not be feeling or what Bayek and, and Aya should be feeling. So it, it was that subtlety, I think, was represented throughout the game, right? Carrying the spectrum of emotions of, of you know, Bayek's quest, his motivations, Aya's motivation, the rift between them, all these little things that, you know, we want the player to be no, emotional. In Egypt, Cleopatra is the origin of the assassins. Yeah, I think it, I think it was a... It was a complete success at least you know for, for me that, that's that's my opinion no, on it. No, it's, it's, agree it's a very strong story uh, just their relationship is just something you don't forget from this series it's just so well written you get the first hidden blade yeah i'll show it <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, be careful <laughs> <laughs> don't point that at your face <laughs> oh. there, you go. there you go there you go <laughs> Y que de aquí es donde sacaron el diseño de la hoja oculta. Uh, it's funny, too, Jose, you know, you, you were saying earlier, um, you know, you were talking about showing this game to people for the first time and then, them, you know, saying, oh, this isn't, you know, I didn't vale, realize this is what I wanted, but it's exactly what I wanted. Um, I, I had a... a Slightly similar, but bueno, slightly different um, siguen y siguen uh, impression y of when the was, was first announced and when we first got to play it. Um, it was also jugando. they've learned as much from AC as they have from from a textbook. Um, <laughs> uh, and I know, you know, that. Uh, y esto es un gameplay ya. Ya no presentan nada trying más. To get, uh, artifacts, scans, information. We obviously knew that we wanted to be as genuine as possible. Todo lo demás es gameplay. You know, Cleopatra ascending to the throne as a woman, bueno, uh, you know, after the failure. Pues, ya está, ya hemos visto lo que pearls. teníamos que uh, ver. Que, you know, all this was a super es lo que nos iban a presentar de las Assassin's Creed y, y hasta aquí hemos llegado. Yeah, and, and that's, that's another thing I think this no game is a great challenge. No hay más, todo lo demás son es que me ve. Uh, y estas tres personitas how, how hablando que supongo que les habrán dado información privilegiada sobre el juego o lo que sea how, porque si no, no creo yo que uh, I do, I, I love that Clay fact, eh, Clay Patra and Bayek, you know, no sé cuánto o sea, to, 20 minutos más de uh, o sea, no la para tanto <laughs> teléfono pro Edu honestly, this is when I realized how much uh, research and time and effort was put into this game is when I saw these these stones here in the no, no les and I remember tweeting this out at the time and like, que que you know it was it was the closest I had ever gone to going viral uh, at the time Pero, um, when I saw these because um, I was tampoco... I was shocked like these es que these are crosswalks yo no los juego, y'all tampoco. like these are ancient crosswalks Conozco and la, the reason they're they're these trama, elevated no, stones in the middle of the street. Um, is because oftentimes in ancient cities Esto you would just have es... sewage basically running through the streets or rainwater sí, or whatever. Es el origin, you know, what, what have you. Um, but you would need elevated places for people to cross. Correcto. And the reason it's not just a, a straight slab of um, you know of, of raised portion is that you still need carriages and carts to be able to pass through. So you have these, you know, horse-drawn carriages pass through, and their wheels are meant to go in between no sé, el, all the, these sun tabs, but pedestrians que... are meant to cross oh. on top of them, so they're not getting their... Uh, you no that are fans that have been with okay. us in Valhalla since the beginning, you probably have heard... Bueno. Uh, I want to point out a comment that Ay, Rad sí, Dude said in the chat, where uh, 
I said Jose is great. You can really tell his passion for the AC brand. Uh, and, I see. Yeah, totally Thank agree. You. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, let's see if there are any other questions. So I got one from Yobz who said, uh, "Come on, come 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 Así que lo dejamos aquí. Espero que os haya gustado. Gracias por vernos. Y nos vemos en próximos vídeos. O sea, nos vamos, pero no vamos a un dentro. Hasta ahora. Pero no es solo la duty, no es solo la duty.